name is Chef Arnold Brown. I'm the chef manager over at Cafe R Founders Deli here on the Qualcomm campus. And today we're gonna show you guys how to make a nectarine jam. Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're just splitting the peaches. These are nectarines. These are very ripe nectarines and we're just getting the core out. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop them up, rough chop. We're gonna go into a pot with a little bit of water and some sugar and we're gonna break them down, just cook them down so we get a nice consistency and a nice spreadable jam. Okay, and when you're chopping your nectarines, always be careful to keep your fingers tucked in and to always wear a cup glove. So now in our pot we have our chopped fruit, whether it be nectarines, peaches, apples, whatever it is you decide to jam. We add a little bit of water and some sugar and let that cook down. And as it cooks, the fruit is gonna release some pectin, which is gonna, which is gonna make your jam thick and give you the perfect consistency you're looking for. So yeah, when it comes to fruit spreads, think of jam like as the life of the party. It's looser, chunkier, and less conservative than its cousin gel. The consistency of a good jam should be textural, so textural soft enough to spoon and easily spreadable with, a, with pieces of fruit in it, chunks of fruit in it, as you see here. And for our nectarine jam here, we're getting about four pounds of ripe nectarines to about three cups of sugar. A lot of sugar and jam. And we add a little bit of lemon juice, about two teaspoons as well. All right, folks, so now as our jam tightens up, we're gonna do this, let this, let this cool down. We're gonna go toast up some bread and spread some of this jam on it and see what we got. Folks, so once we're getting, we get our, once before putting our jam in our jar, make sure it's clean. We need to get them washed very well, the lid, everything included. We're gonna add our jam to our jar, seal it up really tight, and it goes into a bain marie. Boiling water, you're gonna add your jam in there. Turn the water on, bring it to a boil for about 10 minutes till the cap is down. Once the cap is locked, your jam is preserved and you're good to go for about a year. You're gonna enjoy it, you know, a few months down the road. Okay, and once your jam is finished, your finished product, once again, should be easily spoonable and spreadable. Just like this. All right, folks, so this is our nectarine jam. Simple, easy, quick to make. All right, folks, thank you very much for stopping in with us, checking out our jam, and we'll see you next time when we have some other exciting dish for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day and stay safe out there.